Well, hello. Well, hello. This is Worm Farmer George demonstrating his worm farm. Worm Farmer George on YouTube. When I lift this up, there should be worms hanging from the bottom. I hope there will be. Maybe there won't. We'll see. If there are, you should see them hanging from the bottom. Can you see them? If they're not, I don't know why they're not. At this level, there should also be ones hanging from the bottom. We'll see. I can't really tell. But I'll be able to tell when I look at the video. And what I'm saying from the bottom. Now we move on over to where you can actually see what's going on inside of there. In this level, there are just a couple of worms that don't really belong in here. And I have one more level above there that I don't have anything in just like I had for this level. At this level, I have a very acidic mix of newspaper, coffee grounds, rotting potatoes, and see, the worms like this stuff. They really like it. This is where they like to lay little worms. Okay, at this level, there are lots of worms in here. Unless they've migrated up to the top, but I think there's, yeah, see, there's still lots of worms in here. And this is not the main level. But there's lots of them. A lot of them migrate up and down. If you give them about three layers, that's what works best. And then as they totally decompose all that material and eat it several times. They're doing a really good job at this level and the level above. You end up with castings at the bottom. Now here I am at the bottom level. This is where I put all the worms to begin with. It, a lot of this came with the kit. The paper didn't of course. But this coconut koi, this bedding, this is about a couple inches thick, at least. And as you can see, there's still many happy and healthy worms living in this area. I really shouldn't mess with them. If I don't mess with them, what I need to do is not mess with them for about three months and then show you but see these are little baby worms these are second generation worms already and I've only had this for I don't know three weeks uh, yeah three weeks alright so as you can see it's pretty easy to raise worms you just have to have a little bit of space it really doesn't matter what the outside temperature gets to just so long as it stays between say 80 degrees and 40 degrees inside year-round and the worms mostly take care of that temperature fluctuation variation that you know, they produce their own coolant it seems just keep it in a shady spot feed some garbage a little at a time you know kind of work it as you go this particular kit here is available online for everything I needed, including the worms, was like less than $150 with shipping, which is not a bad deal, because this can create a lot of compost in a year's time. I don't know exactly how much, because I've only had it for a very short period, but I'll let you know. All right, it's called vermicomposting. It's a worm farm, available from... Wormswrangler.com